channel, Shop Hush sent me a huge PR box full of palettes that are dupes for high-end palettes. So I used one of the palettes today to create this look and I used the palette that it is supposed to be a dupe for. So I think it turned out exactly the same, like very, very similar. So I do think these Hush palettes are really good quality and I highly recommend them. They're so affordable. I think this palette was like $12 and I'll leave it right here. And the other palette that's a dupe for was like $50. So let me show you the palettes I'm talking about. So this is the dupe palette. This is the Hush Royals Bad Habit palette. This is what the palette looks like. Here's the front, here's the back. It has 14 full size eyeshadows. A cute little mirror. The packaging is beautiful. Here are the shades. Now, what palette does this remind you of? It is the Anastasia, whoop, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. And this is what the Modern Renaissance palette looks like if you have not seen it yet. This is, this is one of my absolute, if not my absolute favorite palette I've ever owned. I use this one all the time. It is the best quality palette I've ever had. I truly believe that. It is a little dirty, but that's to be expected. I've had it for over a year now. Um, here's the back, and this one also has 14 shades. So, yeah. So, if you just want to compare these real quick. So the Hush palette, the the eyeshadow pan sizes are larger. I don't know if they're any deeper, but these are so similar. I was so excited to try this, and I think it turned out almost exactly the same. I mean, let me zoom in and see you can see. This is the Hush side, and this is the Anastasia side. So yeah, so if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. brush for the other side. With the Hush Royals palette I used, um, or Bad Habit, I used Primrose and then the dupe in the Anastasia palette is Juan Fresco. But I don't have another brush similar to this so I'm going to use the same brush. just for that transition shade. Look pretty similar to me. This side is definitely more pigmented. Even that out a little bit over here. I'm not sure what look I wanna do just yet because it's always so hard for me to decide but I'll probably use those um like some pinks and red shades next i'm going to be using my morphe pk 36 brush to um deepen up this crease i'm going to be using the rain shade in the hush palette So I'm going to start on that outer corner and work my way into the crease. The other side I'm going to use this Glamour Dolls 
brush and going into that red ochre shade. So I would say they are the same shade, obviously. The Anastasia one is definitely more pigmented, but really not by much. So I'm just going to use these as my blending brushes. This is the Morphe E27, and this is the Kala Crease Work 15. And these are just clean brushes to blend all those harsh lines. They definitely blend about the same. I don't know if I've noticed that. So I def the honest fact is I definitely lost some pigmentation in the blending and this side really didn't. So I will say this one is, this, the hush side is just a tad harder to blend than on the side. Next, I'm going to deepen up these outer corners. I'm going to use my Morphe R39 and my Morphe M433 brush. So I'm going to go in with Reef or with Majestic. Side. I'm go in with Venetian Red. So I don't think they're the exact same shade, but they are very close. This one's a little more red, this one's a little more pinky purpley toned. In the Hush palette with the shade Regal. This has a little shimmer in it, but I don't feel like it's enough to really notice the difference. I'm just gonna go right over top of that just to give it some depth and dimension. Same technique. Side. So still need a little something on that outer corner. I'm going to use the brown shades in those palettes. I'm going to use Grand and Cypress Umber. So for the left, I'm going to use the Morphe E18 and the right, I'm going to use the Morphe M578. And like always, we will blend that out. I'm gonna do the other side first. blend with the Morphe E28 and the M521.
So I do think I want to go in with the shimmer on the inner corner. So I'm going to go in with Queen from the Bad Habit Ballad. I'm just going to use my finger for this. I think your finger works the best always for applying metallic shadows. And then I'm going to go in with Vermeer in the Anastasia palette. Not as pigmented, not as metallic. Alright, so let's do the lower lash line. I'm going to use, hmm, I think I'm going to use that first um, transition shade on the lower lash line. And since those were so close, I'm just going to use the same brush. Okay, so there's my eyeshadow. I think they look pretty darn close. I'm going to finish up my eyeliner, lashes, and all of that, and I will show you the completed look. This is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope this will help you decide whether you want to order from Hush or not. I really love this. Not everybody is into, like, dupe palettes and things but if you're on a budget and you can't afford a high-end palette right now this is an absolutely fantastic alternative and yeah if you just want to compare some of your high-end palettes to these you know they have several others that are dupes for others and i'll be doing more videos on that to come mm -hmm. they sent me 10 palettes to review for you guys so i'll definitely be making more videos on their palettes so yeah if you have any video recommendations or any looks in mind please comment below and let me know your suggestions and i'll try to make it happen so yeah thank you all so much for watching i love you and jesus loves you too please don't forget to like and subscribe down below for more videos like this one thanks again for watching bye